let's talk drums. So I recently treated myself to the classic rock Easy X expansion for Easy Drummer from Toon Track. It was on offer and I cannot resist a bargain. I came to create a drum map for it in Cubase, as I always do with any drum expansion. And I found a few issues that surprised me and may surprise you. Now, I've covered drum maps previously in a video and although it was a few years ago, the principles are still the same and I'll put it on the end card to this video. When I come to create a drum map, the first thing I look for is the documentation that tells me how the individual drums are laid out across the keyboard. When I did that with Classic Rock Easy X, I had a bit of a surprise. So this is the Classic Rock Easy X in Cubase. And what I want to do now is to open the documentation. Now, if you go to any one of these on this list, you will you can bring up the version, the description and the MIDI layout. If we just click on that, you'll suddenly get Sound Libraries Americana MIDI layout. Oh, there it is at the bottom. Um, you get the keys opening up. It says Easy Key, Easy X Keys, but it's actually the Easy Drummer key map. And that shows you where the individual drums are on the keyboard. Now, broadly speaking, there is a standard for this. When MIDI was first promulgated, there was the general MIDI standard. All drums were on channel 10. All drums had a particular MIDI note assigned to them. So the kick was C1 and B0 actually. There were two different kicks that were assigned. One was acoustic, one was electric. Then you had snare, side stick, rim shot and uh, D sharp was actually the clap in the general MIDI. And also, which we'll come back to, as you can see they even marked general MIDI here. We've got the open, pedal and closed hi-hats on A sharp 1, G sharp 1 and F sharp 1 respectively. If you come back to Cubase and we try the same with Classic Rock, we can wait, we can talk about lunch, we can talk about supper, we can talk about what we're having for tea tomorrow and we can still be waiting because it doesn't appear. Now this isn't a feature of Cubase, if you do it in the standalone version of Easy Drummer, it's the same. Every single one of them on that list will produce a drum map that you can see how the drum notes are laid across the keyboard except the classic rock. So fine, I thought, that's not a problem, there's another way to do it. So if you go to one of these instruments, say the snare, because you're going, you know there's going to be multiple articulations on a snare, you can open the instrument properties, click on details, and there are all your articulations, centre, edge, rim shot, and as we would expect, the centre is D1, the rim shot is E1, the side stick C sharp one, and there's a few others. And in fact, as with most tune track um, easy X's, there are alternates. So the snare is not just D1, but the centre snare hit is also D sharp one, F sharp three, and so on. You saw the list, you have to wind it back and pause it. Where the fun started was when I looked at the hi-hat because of course we're looking for F-sharp 1, G-sharp 1 and A-sharp 1. Well there's F-sharp 1, closed tip. Uh, anybody see G-sharp 1 and A-sharp 1? No. Where they are, A-sharp 1 is an alternate, it's the third alternate for open edge 2. I don't mind what they call it, but why isn't it A sharp 1? It's a default. It will still work with an imported MIDI that's general MIDI compatible. But if you program a groove in here and think, actually, this would sound better in an alternate kit and you've used C sharp 0 instead of the default, your groove won't translate. And it's the same with the pedal. Pedal closed, 
A1. A minus one, actually. But no, there it is, G sharp one. It's hidden away as the last alternate, the last alias note. So why does that matter? You know, you can take the, the grooves from here. Let's go to classic rock grooves, find one of these, drag it down onto the timeline, drag it in, and we can hear it, it can play. Watch it doing its thing. Yeah, it's fine, but it's not. It's not. Because we don't pay for the groove to go with the drum set, particularly from a tune track. If we go back to that browser, I have add-on packs. We've got classic rock grooves here. They're not actually the classic rock grooves that came with the expansion. It's another set. It's a different set. The American rock there was marketed as grooves by Kenny Aronoff. Now, he's the guy who did Jack and Diane. He, he's played with John Cougar Mellencamp. He plays with Credence Clearwater in their current incarnation. I've seen him in a drum clinic. He's absolutely amazing. He's the right character and a real raconteur. But you're paying here for the fact that he's a world-class drummer. And if his grooves are not MIDI compatible, are not general MIDI compatible, then you can't just drag out one of his grooves and put it into another uh, drum. Let's try it. So we'll just delete that. I'm going to put my headphones on so I can hear what's going on. Let's take uh, American Kids. Okay, so this is probably something that we ought to be vaguely aware of. And we'll load it into Easy Drummer. And we'll get rid of that. So now we're just hearing MIDI from Cubase. So we'll play that. Oop, wrong play button. Okay. So let's uh, let's drag a um, a pre-chorus out. Let's have a quick listen. Okay. So we'll just drag that. I don't think we can actually. Oh, we can actually drag it out. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So we'll just drag that out, and we can go to bar eight and uh, watch the drums play. Right, now what happens if I drag that to Groove Agent? In this instance of Groove Agent, I've got the Acoustic Agent loaded. So here it is, Acoustic Agent. And we've got fairly general MIDI. We've got kick, snare, F sharp one, G sharp one, A sharp one. Let's have a listen to that groove played by this. Okay. Let's just remove that one. I'll mute that and we'll drag it across and see what we get. So. We've got a lot more hi-hat in that one than we have in this one. So let's have a look at our what's going on. And what happens is when you look at it, there are there's a C, C0 note, which acoustic agent, which is mapped to the general MIDI standard, doesn't know what to do with. Let's try a different kit. Let's try the Modern Drummer from Native Instruments. Oops, wrong button again. Getting good at that. Right, so here's your kit. Uh, let's turn on the show trigger states so that we can actually see what's going on. We 
we've got no hi-hat at all. So that's why it's important to know that these drum grooves that we buy are tuned to the particular instrument that they're sold for or for the drum kits of the particular manufacturer. Now, there's something going on with TuneTrack um, because, let me just go back to Easy Drummer, I have created drum maps for all of these libraries that I have bought over the years. I'm on my third iteration of the Latin percussion mapping because when I came to look at the map that I had done originally a while back I realised that it wasn't right I couldn't understand why it wasn't right I thought well must have I been having an off day I've looked at it again recently and it's not right again neither of the first two versions are correct to the mapping that comes up when I get that MIDI layout up. Now you'll notice we're on version 1.5.7 and if you use the TuneTrack product manager you'll notice from time to time that some of these things get updated and I think what has happened and I'm open to TuneTrack proving me wrong is that as TuneTrack have refined their own particular drum mapping protocol which is different from general MIDI they've tweaked their earlier kits to allow for the compatibility as far as possible within their own ecosystem. The thing that leads me to think this is if we go to the reggae kit, oops, wrong button again. We draw the reggae kit up. This hand drum here, that mapping changed. When I bought the reggae kit, I did a mapping for it following the MIDI mapping that was given at the time. I've recently reviewed it and that hand drum had changed its mapping. The notes were different. And I can only think that's because behind the scenes TuneTrack are trying to standardise their own MIDI map which is not the same as the standard MIDI map. So what happens if you want to take a groove from an Easy Drummer kit and translate it to use it with Contact or with Groove Agent or with Stephen Slate Drums or with Superior Drummer. Well, I suppose Superior Drummer it probably would align but you get the meaning. If you want to go to a different manufacturer's drum set because you think that that killer Kenny Aronoff groove would sound so much better in fill in the blank you're going to have to remap it. Now, there is a way to do that and I'm going to come on to it in a future video. But for right now, I'm going to say if you have enjoyed this video or it's got you thinking, then why not give it a like and subscribe to the channel. If you enjoy the idea of mini maps, but don't want to go to the time and trouble of creating your own, then mine are available to you. All you have to do is buy me a coffee. There's a link below to my buy me a coffee page and you can download from there either my drum maps for complete ultimate or my drum maps for these Easy X expansions, all for the price of a cup of coffee. I hope this has been useful. I hope you've enjoyed it. And until next time, you take care of yourselves.